Again, the main important thing I'd like to do for this problem, I already explained why and how we do division. So I'm just going to immediately write whenever I see my division as a multiplication problem. But to save myself some steps, I am going to do some factoring here. So I'll factor out the 2. Over here, I can multiply this to an x minus 4 times x plus 3. Write this as a product. That means that's going to be my new numerator, which is a difference of two squares. And here, if I factored this out, if I factored out a 3, I would get an x squared minus 4, which again, an x minus 4, I could use a difference of two squares again, right? OK, so now I have a product. Could I just multiply them all as one? I could, but I also know I can divide across. I can apply a division property okay. across that multiplication problem. So let's just play the game of what divides out. So I have some x plus 3's. Uh, looks about it. Right? Yep. Now, can I do anything? The 2 and the 3 don't simplify. So therefore, I'm just left with a 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 3 all over times a 2 um, x minus 4. Two is over there. Yeah. I'm not sure if I wrote that one down wrong the way I wanted to. So x cannot equal 4 and plus or minus 2. Okay.